well, well, look, look what we have here. How about that? A whole herd of them. Now that is cool looking. Where y'all going? Where you been, a night on the town? Man. See you later. Welcome back to my channel, everyone. Three tips here, 6 a.m. on Tuesday morning. I swapped out that filter Sunday afternoon. So it's been configured like this with the new filter for about two days. I'm running a time lapse to see if we can capture how quickly the silver shot gets consumed out of that anode filter. And uh, you can see up here, the amps have calmed down a little bit. They were up over four amps. We're at 2.8. That's still a respectably high level of amperage for this thing. So now what we're gonna do is see if we can look down in here and see what the silver crystal looks like that's growing in here. Oh yeah. We're getting some nice chunky crystals growing. You can see that scum is forming on the top of the electrolyte. But now the, uh, the silver is really starting to grow rapidly. Now that I've put that new filter in there. And we've got the amperage way up like it is. So we should uh, be producing some nice fat pure silver crystal from this silver cell run. Now let's refill the anode filter with impure silver. This is cement silver that I've melted and poured into water to make these granules or shot. And what we'll do is we're gonna take out our uh, anode bar. Now we're gonna take and fill our basket back up with this impure silver. And we'll reinstall the anode bar. And if you look up here, you'll see that the amps have jumped up now. They're up over three amps running through the cell. I'm gonna add another spoon of the impure stuff here on top of the anode bar to kind of bury it and get optimal contact between the anode electrode bar and the uh, silver shot that remains in the anode basket. All right, what I'm gonna do is kill the power to the power supply. Mm -hmm. I'm not gonna disturb this camera. Just gonna pull that anode bar out of there and just kind of set it off to the side like that. Pull the watch down, right? Mm -hmm. And then pull this block down. Take all of this stuff off. All right, now what I'm gonna do is open up the cell like this. You say, what'd take, you tell me? Take every bit of this off. But what'd you say about just peeping down here like this? Because you're not seeing nothing. I want to see everything in the dish. I got you. Right, I so, want a good light. So here's what I'm gonna do. There. Here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna pick this up and put it underneath this uh, so it doesn't get everywhere. Okay. Where are you gonna take it to? Here, I'm gonna set it can over here. Can you go on and knock down the crystal so you can see how pretty it is? Let me, see, let me put this light up here. Yeah. Oh yeah, you can see better like that, yeah. can't you? Yeah. Can you, You're right. Can you knock down the crystals where you can see it better, or you don't want to do that? Well, they're not very big yet, so I don't need to. Okay. But this was a good idea, taking that lid clear off yeah. like that. Mm -hmm. but, so I'll, that. But you can't see it good like that. I need the light going directly over it to be able to see it. Like this. Down? Yes. Oh, yeah, Down it does look it. good. Yeah. I you like can it. probably sit it on the table. That's a good suggestion. Thank you. Okay. I'm going to set the, soap, the uh, anode filter back on there. Okay. So let me get this. Can I move this out of your way? Hold on a second. Let me get this back out of the way. All right. Now, here we go. Yeah, just hold on to that. I'm trying not to hit these cameras. Mm -hmm. Now, don't hit that crystal thing in there. Okay. The stir. All right. Let's see here. Here we go. I'm going to put this back down in the cell. That's our anode filter. 
Mm -hmm. And then uh, let's move this out of the way. I just hit the camera. Cover this opening back up. And now I'm going to re-energize the power supply. Hang on just a second. And I want you to set it back down in there so people don't think I have three hands. Power supply is on. No amps going through there because we don't have a complete circuit. Now Mrs. Three Tips is going to put the uh, anode bar back down into the anode basket. There you now go. it's getting it. There you go. And now we've got a current flow going through the cell. You can see so it. now what we're going to do is I've got some electrolyte here. Silver nitrate electrolyte. This is about 150 grams of pure silver dissolved in dilute nitric acid. I'm going to add a little bit of this in to replenish the cell from what we just took out when we did that operation. I, I, I just got word that my second power supply has arrived. Once you pick that up, that second silver cell, and set it over here by the first one, and we'll go down and pick up our power supply, and we'll get our second silver cell up and running. I'm ready to place my second silver cell in operation. That's what this is. I built this from scratch and I made a video of it. It's posted on my channel, so uh, you can watch that video and see exactly how I made this second silver cell. And up here, I decided to try a new kind of power supply. And we've got that thing set at 3.5 volts. And what we'll do is use this power supply to run this second silver cell. Here I'm filtering the electrolyte for the second silver cell. I made this a couple of videos ago when I dissolved 1200 grams of pure silver and nitric acid. So there's going to be 600 grams of pure silver dissolved in this liquid. And this is what we'll use for the electrolyte for the second silver cell. We'll begin by making up the cathode connection on my second this silver just cell. This a piece of copper strap with a hole drilled in it and a brass wing nut. Just fix it to the stainless bowl with a hose clamp. I've got a cathode wire here. We're going to hook this uh, to the negative side of the power supply and then connect it to our cathode connection on the stainless bowl. Let's look up here and connect our wire to the negative side of the power supply. I'll turn off the power supply. While we make up these connections, just to be on the safe side, I'm gonna connect this with the brass bolt. I had the uh, copper strap upside down. I had to turn it around, otherwise it's gonna interfere with the cover. But now we're gonna go ahead and add the silver nitrate electrolyte this is going to be 600 grams of pure silver dissolved in here. I'm going to add it to the stainless steel bowl. Let's rinse our flask out into here. I should have done this for you. Started with the electrolyte. I've got to bend this down out of the way so that our cover will fit on here. Now I'll add some distilled water up to about the uh, up to about within half an inch of the rim of the bowl. This should make a solution that is roughly 150 grams of pure silver per
per liter of electrolyte. Let's go ahead and get our cover and put that on the silver cell now. This is just a piece of cutting board that fits on top of the cell. I've got an anode filter basket. It's just a Tupperware basket with some holes drilled on the bottom and a Dacron filter in it. I'm gonna go ahead and charge it up with some of our impure silver shot here. Now what we'll do is we'll drop the uh, anode filter in the hole that we have cut in our cutting board here so that the bottom of this anode basket is in contact with the electrolyte that's in the silver cell. Here's my anode electrode bar. It's a bar of pure silver, about two and a half troy ounces with a 10 gauge copper wire cast into it. Now we'll insert the anode electrode bar and set it in here on top of our impure silver. Here we go, we're gonna energize our power supply. We've got it set to constant voltage mode. We want 3.5 volts constant voltage. There we go. It's wavering a little bit, but that's going to be close enough. I think this will work just fine. I think we're in business here. I've got my second silver cell up and running now. And this is what it looks like down in there. What happens is the current flow goes through the impure silver up there, dissolves the silver. It travels down through this electrolyte and then plates out on the inside of the cathode, which is the stainless steel bowl as ultra high purity elemental silver. I've had silver cell number two running for about half an hour now. You see the uh, amperage has climbed a little bit. And if you look down in here, you're going to be able to see that we've already got crystals of pure silver forming down inside of our uh, silver cell number two. It's 8 a.m. the following morning. The power supply is holding its own and doing well. Let's look down inside the cell here. This cell that we just started yesterday. It's been running for 24 hours. If you look down in there, oh yeah, look at that crystal growth down in there already. That's looking real good. 24 hours worth of growth. And so now what we're gonna do is add some impure silver shot to both of the cells. All right, let's go ahead and get this anode electrode bar out of here. And Mrs. Three Tips is gonna add some impure silver into the anode basket. Give it another one. There we go. Perfect. All right, now we're gonna put the uh, anode bar back on now there. Let's do this one. All right, go ahead and add some silver crystal to that one. Or some impure silver shot, rather, not silver crystal. That should be good. Okay, let's put that back on there. Now what we'll do is add some impure silver to bury the anode bar. This seems to help with the conductivity. We'll do the same thing with this one now.
the new power supply is looking good working well let's look down inside the silver cell that we just started yesterday that's looking real good in there and then over here we've got the cell number one that's been running for a few days if you look in there look at that man that's high purity silver crystal this will conclude the uh, power supply installation for silver cell number two thank you for watching this is about two days worth of time lapse it didn't come out very well it's kind of a dud here but uh, what happens is, is when the silver in the anode basket dissolves it just kind of crumbles and falls away but the uh, bar stays suspended until you touch it and then it all just kind of collapses so this is the uh, this is the time lapse of that about two days worth this will conclude the video. Thanks for watching.